Welcome to Whiskey, Wine, and DIY. I'm Nick. And I'm Paige. Tonight coming at you with 273% more cursing. Oh, yes. And I'm not shitting. No shit. No shit at all. No shit at all. No, because we're talking about fucking cursing. One of our favorite things. Yes. Yes, one of our favorite things for multiple reasons, but, you know, mainly for the funsies. <laughs> yes, I would agree. So how was your day? Fabulous. How was the dog? Fabulous. So the kids' school, the kids' preschool was run into by a truck. Right. So there's a hole in the side of it. Yay, which means they're closed down for a couple days. We got a fun little message last night about 8.30 at night that said, hey, by the way, daycare is closed Thursday and Friday. Because a truck hit the school. So I dragged the kids around with me all day, working yeah, on birthday party prep, trying to take stuff to recycling. That's right. Taking the dog to the vet. Their birthday is, well, their birthday party. Is this weekend. Is this weekend. So And it doesn't look like there's going to be many kids there. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, daycare getting shut down a couple days early is not helping that at all. Yeah. Because I gave them invites, but we don't even know if all the kids gave the invites to the parents. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm not too worried. I'd rather have just a couple of kids here than. I'd rather have a couple kids 16. here. Sixteen. I'd rather have a couple kids here. I would rather not just one show up. Yeah, that. Because we've already be we've only had one RSVP, and yeah, that might just be weird. Yes, just slightly awkward. But hey, it's but, a party. Yep, it's a party, and it's time for a clinkies. Clinkies. So this podcast is going to come out on a weird day. Uh, I'm not what? sure. We're still going to talk about it a little bit. I have been down with like a really bad migraine for like the last two days. And so the last thing I wanted to do today was have the kids home. <laughs> well, you're trying to get shit done. At least they weren't home when you had a, had the migraine. Yeah, ain't no kidding. That would have been fun. We would have just sat and watched TV and I would have just slept. That's what would have happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this morning, uh, kind of vegged on the couch with them until you got back and then you kind of took off with them and I've been working on stuff. So what are you working on? You're working on your chair. I'm working on my chair. Um, so I stripped it, sanded it down and went over it with blue stain, um, have the kids help me. And yeah. now... Now I'm trying to figure out. It's just a little too blue for me. Well, you also have to sand that chair at least once before you do anything else to it because it's not, um, it's not, it's not smooth. No, I know because the kids help me. Yeah. Um, but I just have to figure out which way I want to go. Gotcha. All right. Well, I have like three projects going on, like my my new thing here, and they're all frustrating the shit out of me right now. So I've got an epoxy pour that it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. It'll look fine, but it was kind of an experiment. Um, I, I want to get more texture into my epoxy and it didn't, it didn't do what I wanted it to. Like I got it all mixed up. I thought it looked cool, but apparently I did it too early because it kind of like faded back Aww. to before. Really? That yeah. surprises me. Yeah. Well, it like, you know, I mean, it's still fluid until it's not fluid anymore. I just thought it was thick enough that it would I guess, are they different densities, like with the different colors or? No. Hmm. Okay. It's just like, so if you have like red and you have white uh -huh. and you swirl them together and they haven't, they haven't thickened enough, they will start turning pink. Ah, yeah. That's what I would expect. Okay. Right. I thought you meant they just kind of like went back to red on one side and white on the other. No, no, no. No, I, what I wanted is like, if you look at the, some of these guys when they do their epoxy, um, it almost looks like there's waves in it. Yeah. Well, that's what I was trying to do, and I failed. Failed. But, yes, miserably. That's okay. Um, and then I've got a... Failure's just another chance. Yeah, and then I've got an axe handle that is just not doing what I wanted to do. Um, and it was just, like, today was just a frustrating day anyway, because the kids, and there's just a lot going on. Um, and your projects weren't working. Yeah. And, well, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so that's that's what I have. That's what's on my bench. And then I, well, I have a, a Shushugi Bomb video that I'm, I guess I'm, well, I might work on tomorrow, depending on what we're doing with the kids. Oh, no. They're going to adventure kids. They're going to play all day and eat junk food. You heard them, you heard Ozzy protest, like, 
in spades earlier, right? That he doesn't want to go. Well, and you know, an hour before that, he was super excited that he got to go. I know. Anyway, so that is what's going on on uh, like in my jobby job, and I'm completely out of my my. Uh, well, I, I I had some lead time on my videos, and I'm out of that now. So I'm also under the gun. Ah, uh, yes. Sitting, not being able to do anything for a few days will definitely do that too. And a vacation and stuff like that. And then I got jury duty coming up and some other oh, shit like yeah. that. <laughs> Man, I just, oh. Jury duty. Fuck jury duty. You know how many times, not that I've been selected, how many times I've been on a jury. It's been like three or four. Like, I need to not be on a jury anymore. Uh, I've only been on a jury once. I managed to. I mean, I've, I've gone down to jury duty several times, but I've only been on a jury once and it was the one day case thing. So No, I've, I've been on, well, I've only been on one jury where it was more than a day long, but I've been on more than, I've been on three juries at least. Maybe four. Anyway, it's just, oh, I like, I don't know. And every one of them I sat on, like, I don't mind doing my civic duty, but every one of them that I've been on has been such a cut and dry case. Mm-hmm. You like know, what? it's like, like we, uh, like the one, the the one that was on for several days, mm-hmm. like the, the judge even came in to talk to us afterwards and she was like, and they, they asked her like what she thought and he, she's like, oh yeah, he's totally fucking guilty. Like they had all the evidence and all this stuff. Yeah. So it was like pointless. Like it was like, we just went through the steps for no fucking reason other than I got paid what, $6 a day for three days and <laughs> had to fucking like no, you only get paid downtown. six dollars for the first day. I think you get like twenty dollars for the other days. I don't know. I think I donated it. Oh no, I was gonna donate it, and then like I had to go. No, I might have kept that one. Or no, I think they sent me that one. But the ones where they go for the one day, they're like, you can just donate yeah, you can this just back. Donate it back. Yeah. And I was gonna do that, and I had to wait in fucking line. And I was like, no, I'm leaving. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Because I've that's usually what I what I do. Screw for the, six dollars. Well, I'm not gonna wait in line pool. to do it. If I could just like check a box and hand it to somebody, I would totally do that. I don't yeah. have time for that shit. <laughs> Plus, we got to go down to freaking the Astrodome because apparently that's where they're holding trials so, right now. So where where are you really going? The Astrodome. Really? No, no. Energy. I was gonna say. Energy. I thought they tore that down. They didn't tear it down. Still there. They took it. They gutted it. Well, doesn't mean that it's not still there. Uh, but I, energy. I got to go down to energy. So I got to go down to the freaking stadium. And uh, they're requiring everybody, re- regardless of whether you're, you're vaccinated or not, to wear a mask all day. Which I know that sucks for you because you haven't been doing it for the past year and a half. But I don't have a lot of sympathy. I know. But like it's it like so. And, and, and you shouldn't. But it, it's going to be like. This will be like my first day wearing a mask all day. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be super uncomfortable for me. Mm-hmm. And then I don't want to be there anyway. So <laughs> it's just going to suck. Anyway. All right. You can just want... channel your inner Ozzy and whine and bitch about it. Oh, yeah. Because that will that turn, that goes over real well <laughs> in a room full of adults that are trying to get out jury duty. Sure. Um, but yeah. So I just got to I got to get on the ball and I got to. Get off my ass and get some shit done. I have to have some things go my way. That would be awesome. I got you. Well, so let's talk about something more fun. Like Kirsten? No, actually, I was going to ask who you were stalking this week. <laughs> uh, I am stalking my buddy, Ethan Carter Designs. Um, he just put out a video uh, where he did a custom flask for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was so going to say, does it have anything to do with a flask? Yes, it does. Uh, but it's... It, it just it, it turned out really well and he even went so he he kind of like kept it with my kind of like color motif and stuff like that so what mm-hmm. he did is he like etched just on black leather so it looks really cool because it doesn't look like every other brown leather thing that you see yeah um and it's it has my logo on it and then it's like the you know it's a, like the leather wrapped around a, a, like a metal flask I gotcha and it came in the mail today yeah it just came in the mail so uh so he is he is who i'm stalking uh he does he does really excellent leather work and he's a maker of all kinds but he does he does uh mainly leather work now and uh does a really good job man so who are you stalking um i am stalking an account called artified junk rescue and she is of course it's she um a woodworker and she does she does a lot of antique upcycling and live edge wood stuff. 
and she does a lot of fractal burning and epoxy kind of mixed in stuff. So all right, all right. you get the fractal burning, the epoxy, the live edge. It looks just looks all so cool. And she has a cute puppy. Oh, what kind of puppy? I don't know. See, cute puppy. Oh, cute puppy. Um, but yeah, every time I look at her account, I just start scrolling back through the pictures and looking at all the cool shit. And I'm like, wow. Okay, stop. She's okay. doing it right now. Okay. Earlier, we're getting ready to start the podcast and she's, she's doing something and I was waiting for it to get done. I'm like, you ready? And she's like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm over here like scrolling through these pictures. <laughs> They're so cool. So check her out. All right. Now, Mm -hmm. what are we talking about? Curse words. Curse words. Vulgar, horrible words. More importantly, our favorite curse words, right? Yes. So I believe the question was asked, what's your favorite curse word and what's your go-to word when when you want a curse and you can't? Oh. I don't have one of those. I don't know if you do either because we don't really filter ourselves around no, the kids a whole lot. I don't have one of those. I, I mean, I definitely tone down the amount of cursing I do around the kids, but they hear us say all the words. Well, I I do filter. I will say I filter because I filter the words I don't want them to say. So I try to filter. So what words don't you want them to I say? I don't want them to say anything that is putting another person down. So uh, well, no yeah. asshole, so no bitch. Right. Um. Yeah, so no asshole, no bitch, but mainly I think most of the other ones are are just flow freely. Yeah, pretty much. I still love um you at one t- point in time you were you were upset with the kids. You're upset probably with Ozzy because he was he does his little like, I'm sorry, but like he just doesn't mean it. He just oh, says yeah. it because you want to say it. And so you said, and, and you're mad anyway, you're like, okay, that's a shitty sorry. Like you need to do a better sorry than yeah. that. So Tavi adapted that, and he would say he'd, he'd do something to Tavi, and and he'd say, "I'm sorry." And Tavi go, "That's a shitty sa- That's a that's a shitty sorry, Oz." Mm-hmm. Well, you know it usually is because <laughs> it it's is. not. I'm sorry. It's sorry. sorry. Yeah, I won't look in the eye and hit like half the time. He's he's walking away as he says it, or not looking at you at all. And yeah, it is a shitty sorry, but it's just funny that she would repeat that. Mm-hmm. So I was actually a little surprised um, what I thought my favorite curse word would be, which probably was the most popular one. Um, Even when I asked people, you know, fuck is the word that came up. Yes. By the way, should we like do some sort of disclaimer? Like don't listen if you don't want to hear like just. Yeah, we're going to curse a lot. A lot. Sorry, if you haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. I mean, like I I didn't think we had to do it because we did say it in the beginning. Um, I'm but, just yeah, wondering, wasn't, maybe wasn't kidding. Like, yeah. <laughs> parental warning language. Yeah, I think I think we're a little bit better with the podcast because I, I think most people don't like listen to it like in the kitchen, but I could be wrong. You anyway, uh, it, you've been warned. But anyway, I thought it. You know, I was like, oh well, fuck is my favorite word, and you know, it's very versatile. And then, and it can be put together with so many. And several people said that, and um, as a favorite curse word and then rot and wood um gave me fuck nose and i'm like oh i like that one fuck nose nice but then i started to kind of listen to myself and pay attention to what i say and apparently shit is my favorite curse word really i say that a lot you do say shit a lot now that i think about it. yeah like even today I, I heard myself say it several times and every time i say it my kids are like mommy what shit why are you saying shit yeah Why'd you say that? Um, okay, so I can see that. And, and, but you, as much as we both are kind of on, <clears throat> we're on the same wavelength as far as like words are words, people give them power. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't think anybody, I, like, I, 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 don't, I don't think I should feel the need to censor myself around our children I do to a certain degree because like I don't necessarily want them to like that to be like go to words for them. <laughs> but I'm we've both are of of the mindset of like as long as, long as you're using it correctly. Yes, you do need like, to use it correctly. You have to understand the word and 
understand that you shouldn't use it at school. <laughs> yeah, and, and understand that some people don't feel the same way. Yeah. And until you can be the person in the room that people have to listen to, right? True. Um, You need to kind of pick and choose when you use those words. Now, I will say this. Well, and, and of course, fuck is my favorite word. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll just, you know, I didn't even know I needed to say that. I figured we're going in. Just, yeah. I knew. Yep. <laughs> um, but what I have noticed, cav like just a little side note here, is I have having to wear a mask when, when you go out, mm -hmm. I, 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 f I feel more comfortable saying shit under my breath that other people can hear. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. I no, I know. But for whatever reason, my mouth is covered. And so it's so, like they they won't hear uh, it. No, I think it's just like it takes a little bit of the like like they 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 could be like what did you say and I'm like I didn't say shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> but I want <laughs> to be careful cuz I do that around the kids too and that is bad. Because I don't want them to start doing that. Because honestly, it that that's fucking shitty. Yes. Yes, it is. Not cool. I also use the kids. Oh, I love this. My favorite thing about being out with the kids is mm -hmm. when somebody does like a prickish thing that normally I wouldn't point out. Yeah. I will tell the kids why that's a prickish thing loud enough so they can hear it. Oh, I like that. Little little passive aggressive. Yeah. But, oh, uh, it's, it, but it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ozzy, some people don't pay attention. And they just push their cart right out in front of everybody. <laughs> it's okay. They might have a lot of stuff on their mind. Mm -hmm. And then, I, you know, and then you just kind of look over your shoulder at them just real quick. Love that. That's my favorite thing to do. I love kids. <laughs> get to use kids to. Yes. Yes, I get Express. to use, use kids to troll people. Troll people. Ooh, that's a good term, <clears throat> troll people. Yes. Mm. But I kind of like the more colorful, like, so to me, the fuck is just a word, right? Yeah. You know, like, it's just a, fuck is, it, like, I use that in a sentence uh, with, like, I, I, I'm not upset or anything or angry or sad or whatever it's, yeah. it's just a word and and the, my favorite use uh, my, my favorite thing about the word fuck is its versatility because if you ever heard anybody say, anybody say like something like like fuck you you fucking fuck yes dude you just use that word in like five different ways in one sentence and convey a meaning yes it's crazy it's craziness but so what I like is like stuff like you you know fucker McShit pants or something like that like it just uh -huh. like like the whole phrase to, to, yeah to have fun with it apparently apparently what's really triggering to the internet uh -huh. is hillbilly horseshit oh apparently yeah you I, I said just hillbilly horseshit bastard and the funny thing is like. People came at me on Twitter, not Twitter, TikTok. TikTok, yeah. Whatever. Serves the tea. Um, they just came after me about that and like, well, you just don't know. And I'm like, listen, man. Like, like you I don't come, know hillbillies? <laughs> I'm like, first of all, I come from like redneck roots. So like, first of all, get over <laughs> yourself. Oh, you're talking yourself. about your mom, right? <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm, I'm talking about that whole side of the family. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the fact that I had two second cousins that actually married each other. Yeah. 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 Red mm -hmm. necky. All right. Um, and when I said hillbilly horse shit, I was not meaning to be insulting at all. It was like a thing. And so the funny thing is they came at me on TikTok. I mentioned it on Instagram and people were like, okay, I don't understand because who is coming after you? Because I would think that one, hillbillies don't really think they're hillbillies. True. They don't think they're hillbillies. So they wouldn't, think you were talking about them and then people that are like really hillbilly they're not on the they internet probably on the internet <laughs> and i was like yeah i i don't know like i i i noticed it like the the people that came at me were really young mm -hmm. so i think they were just like like little social justice heroes like you shouldn't say yes. anything bad about anyone any any group yeah i'm like fuck All off right. with that you know what i said i come said come out and save the hillbillies i said fuck you you fucking fucks 
and, like it, it. and it still plays. All right. Well, I like some. Oh, was I interrupting? Yes. Okay. So I thought after I thought, but after I thought about that, I was like, I, I, we have to add context to these words, right? Because mm-hmm. because obviously people like to me. Uh, to me, that was the most lighthearted thing I could have said in that situation. That is true. Is hillbilly horse shit. Yeah, that, that's because I was about to throw a fucking tree or uh, throw a fucking uh, chair through a wall. I was pissed. That was that was very tame. And yeah, you don't obviously know me if you think that's offensive. <laughs> By the way, new shirt I'm making just says offensive on it. I'm just gonna wear it all the time. Yeah, you often <laughs> are. Yeah. I've toned down a lot. You have. You have toned down a lot. I think <sighs> your, your anger's decreased a little bit, so you've... It, the anger's decreased, and then it's the dad thing, man. I don't know. Yeah, I can see. You have, you've you toned down in your offensiveness. Okay. So I want to run through... So in, in like so we're giving context, right? Okay, context. Context. So what I, I, I started trying to look up um, words like offensive words in other languages and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I came across this great list, which I'm going to run through really fast because there's a ton of words. Mm-hmm. But it is a list of like basically like swear words in okay. the UK. Ooh. Oh, those are always entertaining. Okay. Well, and then they're categorized. Oh. So they go from mild to medium to harsh mm-hmm. to I think explicit. But I'm just going to run down and then like I will stop at the end of each section. And if you would like to discuss any of these words... You let me know. Okay, so okay. hold my tongue. So mild. Mild. Okay. Hit me. Arse, bloody, bugger, cow, crap, damn, ginger, git, god, goddamn, Jesus Christ, minger, and sod off. Ginger. It is, like, it can be offensive. I know, I know. Okay, so nothing? I love bugger. I do. I do. Bugger is uh, bugger is kind of a favorite one of mine. Um, All right, go ahead. Okay, Next group. So medium arsehole, balls, bent b i n t. I don't know why. Uh, bitch, bollocks, bullshit, fack f e c k, munter, <laughs> pissed or pissed off, shit, son of a bitch, and tits. 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 Bollocks. Bollocks. Did I do bollocks? Yeah, you did. Oh, it was bullocks. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're getting good. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. Strong. Bastard. Beaver. Personal favorite right here. Mm-hmm. Beef curtains. Beef curtains. Oh, well. Bell end. Just head of your dick. Uh, <laughs> blood clot? It's like B-L-O-O-D, blood. And then C-L-A-T-A-A-T. I don't know what that is. Clunge or clung. Uh, cock, dick, dickhead, fanny, flaps, gash, knob, minge, prick, punani, pussy, snatch, and twat. I love knob. Knob. I know, right? Knob end. Um, and then the strongest words are uh, are cunt, fuck, and motherfucker. Yeah, this makes sense. So, yeah, I, I, I just... Uh, I, they have some of the best curse words. And I want, like, I really, it really angers me that just because of my location on this planet, mm-hmm. that I cannot use the word cunt on a regular basis. No, you definitely cannot, um, especially with your location in the South. <laughs> <laughs> and twat. Dude, come on. Yeah, yeah. I've unfortunately used twat a little too much, I think. <laughs> In the past, I'm a big fan of what is a lot bigger now is the the compound words like fuck knows. Yes. You know, I mean, you know, you got the old ones like shithead that's been around forever, but people but, like, are getting creative now. I know, like douche nozzle. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on. Fuck nuggets. Yes. Fuck knuckle. <laughs> Let's hear it. Mm. I have a whole other list if you want to go through that one. <laughs> no, that's all right. But I'm going through that list, but we we can we can, okay. we can do you for a minute. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have a list. I would just. I was trying to think of good shit ones, but most of them are fuck. But um, now fuck nugget is just stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, um, I, man, you can get all into like shit nose and you know uh, shit for brains and 
Yeah, that's true. Well, I was trying to get like the less common ones because, you know, like you get shit faced, which isn't even like, you know, that's just drunk and shit for brains and shit head. And now I'm, jo- oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. All right, like, I'm going to blow through these okay. new. These are like, these are the new, th- these these are the fancy new ones that the kids are using. So are they, are they combo ones? Compound words? Some of them are. Um, some of them, I don't know if I read through this entire list. I remember that some were a little weird. So I got to see if I if I want to be like up on trend or if I just want to stick with my old lady words. So some of these, I got to say some of these are pretty awesome. Some of these are a little weird. Cum bubble. Eh. Fuck trumpet. <laughs> knob head. Eh. Mm. Piss flaps. Twat. Twat's not a new. Shit bag. There's a shit one for you. Yeah. Cock nose. Dick weed. Bitch tits. Bitch tits. I like that. Arse badger. I like ass badger better. Jizzcock. That's just lazy. Boby. I don't know. Like that's. I. I feel like I'm just old. Yeah, I'm sure that has some sort of meaning that we don't know about. Cum dumpster. Wanker. Bollocks. Some of these are not. Oh, okay. Now hold on mm-hmm. for just a second. This is what makes me angry that I can't say this on a regular basis. Twat waffle. Twat waffle. Well, Come on. Twat waffle is one of the best. Waffle is one of the best ones to go with twat, yeah. Okay, now, followed by another one that I can't say on the regular. Mm-hmm. Thunder cunt. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Like, I don't, don't see that one as a bad one. I <laughs> <laughs> that's an empowering title. I know. I feel that that's very empowering. I want to be known as <laughs> thunder cunt. My my new boss showed up today, and uh, and she gave this speech, and I was like at the end of it, like, wow, man, she's she's such a thunder cunt. I like thunder cunt. I do. I see that as very empowering. All right, let's take the negative out of that. Shit pouch. Yeah. There you go. Pish. I don't know what that one is either. Oh my gosh, I've heard that one a lot from the teenager. Okay. Is that just like psh, or is that pish? Like, are they have they just done done butchered another word? I think they've done butchered another word. Like okay. she's. She's only like mildly comfortable cursing in front of me, so. Oh, uh, so she says pish. But it, that is in her vocabulary a lot, and she's fifteen. Okay. Justine, which isn't a new one, but that's I kind of I kind of dig that one. That's a good good go to. Um, nonce n o n c e. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Uh, piss kidney. That's. That's just not even. That sounds like a medical problem. Wazik. Wazik is that? I don't, I don't know. know. I think Wazik could be good. Cum I wipe. I don't know what Wazik is though. I don't mm. either. I need a definition because I could use that word. I like that word. Piss wizard. Knob jockey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cunt puddle. <laughs> Dick weasel. Quim. Wow, that's old. Mm. Uh, Bob bag. I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like ball bag, and it's just like again we got lazy with the words. Yeah, we do get lazy with words these days. Fuckwit, toss pot, cock wobble, cock cock womble. Womble or cock wobble? Womble. Cock womble. That sounds like an animal. Twat face. Cack. Fuck nugget. Cunt knobber. Git. I don't know. I'm sure that's I'm sure that's a uh, fuck bucket. Pillock. Fuck face. Shit magnet. Mm-hmm. There Shit you go. magnet. I like that. Bumhole. Shite. Scroat. Yeah. Scroat squad. Come on. Cunt flaps. Tosser. Flange. Bugger. Flange. <laughs> Slag. Arse bastard. So this is supposed to be like millennial words. And now like a lot of these are just like UK um, rip off. Yeah. Clung. Dick fucker. Dick fucker. Uh, fanny flaps. Wanker face. Wank, I'm sorry. Wank face. Shit house. There you go. Knob cheese. <laughs> Gobshite. Now these are just lazy. Jizz breath. That's not too bad. Todger. Piss artist. Cock. Douche canoe. Douche canoe. Douche Ooh. canoe. Nutsack. R swipe. Chode. These are getting boring. Clusterfuck. Clusterfuck. You don't call somebody a clusterfuck. You call something a clusterfuck. Yes. I, I, I've i used oh. that a lot in life. Cock burger. Cock burger. Arse clown. Fuck stick. <clears throat> Peckerhead, rim job, schlong. Okay, uh, let me just go back to uh, Peckerhead for a second. The picture behind Peckerhead is a picture of an avocado. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
All right. Uh, rim shot. We already did that one. Shit cunt. See, that's lazy again. Smaghead. Fuck uh. shitter. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> shitter. Come on now. Jizz muffin. All right. That's funny. Uh, shit spitter. There you go. Knob mm. end. What was the, what were they, what was they, they called them in um, the league? Frittatas. Yeah. Fucking frittatas. Prick. Bullock face. Bell. Bell. Shit nubbin. 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 McNubbin. Wingnut. Fud. Jabend. Walloper. Dick cheese. These are getting boring now. Piss bucket. We're almost done. Butt munch. Shit liquor. There you go. Butt munch is what you say when you don't want to curse. I know. Bumder. Arse goblin. Dick bag. And arse butter. So anybody that knows what one of those that I said I don't know what they are, please fucking like email us or DM me because <laughs> I think I, I think we've just gotten like lazy with our with our our stuff. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know, like so when you were a kid, when I was a kid, a big thing was trying to say words that were not as bad. Let's explain. So either. So you were talking about kind of replacements, and I don't really use replacements for curse words these days. Are you talking about like gosh darn versus goddamn? Or are you talking yes. about like- or like, we, like we'd say butthole instead of asshole and crap instead of shit. And, and then um, words that sounded like curse words like ship. Oh really? Mm-hmm. No, I, I, that was like a kid thing we did in so elementary I get, school. I get the I get the first part, not the second part. I don't remember doing the second part. I don't know if that was a locale thing or yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just like where it was. You know, curse words were so fascinating. You know, oh yeah. When you were not allowed to say them, got in trouble for saying them. I never got in trouble. Well, so I never really sat around the house because. Uh, so you, you've you've met my mother. Mm-hmm. She and, and my father was the same way. Uh, like I've heard, uh, like I've heard my dad say, "Fuck!" Like I can count it on two hands like I, he just never cursed like that um and then mom is like the same way and she just doesn't like we just don't see eye to eye on mm-hmm. the seriousness of that but i was in a house where it was like you don't say that so i was dropping f-bombs as much as i possibly could when i wasn't around the house mm. oh, I can because it was like the forbidden thing to do mm-hmm my mom was always funny because she would be so like she had the you know the great teacher persona and didn't talk that way and and she could be then she would start projects at home in the summer like painting walls or home improvement things and just turn into a fucking sailor. <laughs> I I remember one day she was like in the middle of a rant while she was painting stencils on the wall and like the phone rang and and I answered it and it was for her and I gave it to her in just like an instant. Sweet as pie. Hello. I'm like, Aww. you were just in the middle of like an epic curse word rant. <laughs> and I get her frustration because stenciling on the wall was a bitch. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. Well, but I was, it, she was, she could turn it on and off. Like maybe it was the teacher in her. On? Off. Your, your, your mom can very, very quickly change like that i've noticed that about her she'll Mm -hmm. you know like we'll be talking very comfortably and then my mom will walk in the room and then she she changes to like a little bit of a different a different a different version of your mother if that makes sense you know like a a little bit more polite a little bit less yeah just i would say comfortable you know i mean Mm -hmm. like it's a little bit more proper i guess yeah so yeah i've seen that i haven't seen your mom like just spout off <laughs> but uh, uh but i i mean like i have heard your mother curse i don't know if i i don't know if you've ever heard my mom curse i don't think i've i think if i heard your mom curse it would like stop freeze time for a second like what the hell well she got I, ma- could, I could hear almost hear her say oh damn it well, she then, got she got really mad because I said something about I posted a picture of the kids and I said they're so fucking adorable or something like that on Facebook. Oh, she did. She got so pissed that and you she would, got like, really pissed. Use that, that horrible word. I would use that word about my children, and I was like, like pay attention to the context, mother. I know she didn't see that. She I'm using the word f- fucking as like a term to amplify. Yeah, like super amplify um anyway and so i just uh, and she like 
she was like, my, I think my father said that word once his whole entire life. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure he said more than that, but (laughs) maybe not around you, but we just don't say that word. And I'm like, well, in this family we do. Yeah, we do. And our kids are fucking adorable. And you know what? They're also fucking assholes sometimes. Yeah. But love them to death. Yeah. yeah. And they are adorable. And I think fucking adorable is a great, great description of them. Uh, but and the thing is, I, I I guess the reason that I am the way I am <laughs> got hit got hit in the head with a brick. No, um, <laughs> I totally believe that. I uh, the reason that I am the way I am with words is because people do get so offended by them, and it fascinates me mm-hmm. because I'm like, and I'm not talking about I uh, so. There is curse words, and then there is like, like racial slur words, words yeah. and stuff, and and words that put other people down. Mm-hmm. And my thing is like, it, uh, like if I, if I went to if I really want to put you down, not that I would, but I would I would be more like if I really wanted to get after you, yeah, I would go after something like that. If I call you a fuck monkey, that's almost <laughs> a that's almost a term of endearment. Almost. Almost. You know what that is? That's like, you amuse me just enough to where I don't completely hate you. Aw, how so, sweet. Well, I'm not calling you a fuck monkey. I know you're not calling me a fuck monkey. Uh, but, in general, that's sweet. Anyway, so I like, uh, but it always fascinates me that like I can take a word and 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 apparently trigger the entire hill uh, the, the, the entire hillbilly uh, TikTok. Uh, community. No, only the hillbilly supporters. I don't think you actually triggered any hillbillies. Just the hillbilly supporters. Honestly, I, the reason I said that is because you know what? I know that like hillbillies, like it, it, listen, if it, like if hillbillies and rednecks are getting offended about jokes, like mm-hmm. we have gone off the fucking deep end. Because you know what? The two like classifications of people that I like that I know they don't get offended by anything Mm -hmm. are them yeah so if they start getting fucking butt hurt and triggered we are gonna have an issue because you know what those are the those 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 people are like as much as you like you guys hate to admit this those are the people that like that's the glue that holds like America together Mm -hmm. because those are the people that like work on your cars and uh, you know and hunt for a living and do shit and get shit done so we've all gone snowflakey in this world yeah we have have you seen this guy um i i don't i, I don't even know who he is he's just like he's a very big like re- republican anti snowflake guy okay he's military I mean, he's 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 he he was military. I mean, he's mm-hmm. the guy's in his sixties, seventies now, um, and I think he's really like I I, I I honestly just I have no idea who the guy is. I've only seen him like on TikTok and a couple uh, posts on Facebook, uh, but his big thing is talking about how how snowflakey we are, and he's like ninety six percent. I think it says ninety six percent of the people that take the snowflake test. I didn't know there was snowflake test. <laughs> of um, course, there's uh, tests for everything. Shows that they're snowflakes, and he's like, maybe maybe that's not the percentage. The percentage is ninety percent, ninety six percent of the people that took this test. One of the questions on there is, and it's a multiple choice. One of the questions on there is, if somebody walked up and spit in your mother's face, and ninety six point whatever percent of the people, uh, if somebody, the question is, if somebody walked up and spit in your mother's face. What would you do? Mm-hmm. And ninety six point whatever percent of the people said that they would like try to assess the situation and figure out if that dude was having a bad day. And I'm like, there is no fucking possible way that ninety six percent of people said that. Yeah, no way. No fucking way. Like he's about to have a bad day. Yeah, and and my thing is, I'm like, okay, now I will put it. I I will, I I do have to. Put a little caveat in there. What's this dude look like? Because if somebody that I, I'm pretty sure I can beat the crap out of comes up and spits in my mother's face, we're gonna have a totally different conversation than if like that big Indian dude from from Banshee walks up and spits <laughs> in my mother's face. Because then I'm really gonna assess if he's had a bad day because that <laughs> motherfucker scares the shit out of me. 
Fair enough. But I guarantee you, 96% of people did not answer that question that way. No. So I'm like, what? where are your who facts did, coming from? Who did from? you administer this test to? Yes. I'm like, dude, I know. I, I, can, I can say, I, w- I would say the majority of men and a lot of women mm-hmm. would have answered anything but that answer. Yeah. So I think he's full of shit. But he's like he's, that's that's too many way too like I don't want to use the word rational, but almost like rational. And there would be um, so much less violence in the world. I know, right? And yeah, I, I don't. You know what? I, I, and honestly, to to sound more snowflakey, I almost wish that I did assess the situation a little bit more before I fucking lost my mind. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Uh, because once I'm mad, I am mad, and 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 it's it's really hard to rationalize after the fact. That is true. Anyway, but that's what curse note, words are I for. Just, I, uh, that's what. That's what the curse words are. For. That's what curse words are for. That's what podcasts are for too. That by is, the way, no curse words. They so there actually is scientific evidence that they can help with pain. Mm-hmm. Like if you're experiencing pain and you yell out profanities and curse it can actually provide some pain relief interesting there's a reason behind it i don't remember exactly what it is if it's psychological or just kind of the the like the release of anger or emotion that tends to go with it but it's not it's not as good as drugs but <laughs> what is though come on babe it it helps um and so the other thing is and you guys have heard this and i'm gonna i'm gonna say it and then i'm gonna say what i think about it is that uh, use of profanity and uh, like uh, like uh, like an everyday life is a sign of intelligence. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that with a little caveat. One, it can't be every other word out of your mouth. It's like, be, yeah, it, has, like it, has, it has to have context to it. Well, you, it can't be using profanity just for the sake of using profanity. Right. So what I was talking about earlier is to punctuate things with with profanity is like like is is the smart way to get somebody's attention true so i would say that i i like i agree with that to a certain degree fuck you you fucking fuck is like while i joke about that is that you know I, i'm pretty sure the guy that's like blowing that out of his ass mouth hole thing arsehole? Um, his arsehole his 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 shit ass whatever i don't know i can't think of any of them now um <laughs> his his cum bubble dumpster face um <laughs> will uh th- like he's 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 probably not that smart but um but i'm i'm smart and you're smart and we like to say fuck and shit mm-hmm. shit fuck apparently shit fuck or fuck shit uh, shit fuck all right so have we have we talked ad nauseum about about cursing yet I think we have, but it's fun. I know, right? Uh, it's tell us your favorite curse words, curse combos, or did you learn something new? Ooh, did you learn a new one? Um, yeah, a new if, one that you like. If if you heard if you heard a new favorite, let us know. Or if you have one that wasn't on the list, I really, I so they come to me in the moments. Mm-hmm. I really thought I was going to be able to sit down and write out a really good list of just like really offensive shit. I couldn't do it. No, you can't because it, it's got to be um, not scene appropriate. Um, it's it's got to like be situational. S- situational, yes. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, you can't like, yeah. It just it just happens. And if you were triggered or offended by any of this, go fuck off. <laughs> no shit. You know what? Um, go check out Tumblr. I hear, uh, I, hear, I, I hear it's a little safer over there. <laughs> True. Or, or, yeah, Tumblr. Tumblr's okay. good. I think Facebook's supposed to be pretty safe too. Only when I'm trying to use the word slut. <laughs> and it, so, don't, no, I can't. You're going to give me a rant. Nope. And it's too late and then thing to nope, use the rants. No rant. Okay. So favorite curse word. Let us know what it is. Do we know what we're doing next week? Oh, I haven't even looked. All right. Sweet. So, uh, one, like, there was, so, so fuck bang used to be a word that I just thought was awesome when I was a kid. I don't know why. Fuck bang. Fuck bang, man. Like I fuck banged that girl. And mm-hmm. that just doesn't sound it doesn't, like a 
appropriate use. You know what I mean, though. Like it was, it was. It, this is this is when I was in like high school. Like it was just like, man. And I think it was just because it was, it was this really like kind of bad curse word. And then like I kind of followed it up with something else. So I was doing my own little combo. I just thought that was so cool. Actually, our um, our next topic will probably be very good for you. Uh oh. Mistakes and how to recover from them. Oh shit! All right, yeah. Well, I got some you're mistakes. Just, you're so. just like right in the depths of it right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I am. Yeah. I am not doing like. I'm not doing well. I'm glad that the. I'm glad that my tool review video did well because <laughs> these next videos are not going to be great. Um. But ah, fuck that shit. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Um. I think that's it, right? Yes. Like favorite curse word. If you learned a new one. If you enjoy cursing, I don't know. Something if like you that. enjoyed this podcast, like it, share it, subscribe. And go go on your favorite podcast app mm-hmm. and give us a five-star review and see how many curse words you can use saying that we're super awesome in the actual description. Oh, I want to see the review. I want to see a review like that. I want to see a re- of curse words. I want to see a review where like if I do a word count there's like the 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 review is like 80 words and like 50 of them are curse words. I want to see one of these reviews. Let's see what you got. I will give something away if I <laughs> see one of these. If I see if 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 I see a bunch of these, mm-hmm. if people send them in to us or they well we'll see them anyway, but if send us if you do a review, that's awesome. Do those get banned? Honestly, I don't know. Put it in. So here's the deal. Do the review, take a screenshot of it, uh-huh. send it to us. Just in case, just it gets in case deleted. it gets banned. But if if there is more than if there's more than ten, mm-hmm. I will I will randomly draw a number and send you and send somebody something. All right, all right. I have spoken. All right, let's hear it. I don't know what I'm going to send you yet, but it'll probably be a project that I fucked up. No. I, <laughs> I, I, it it'll be cool, some cool stuff, and a project that I fucked up. But uh, actually, probably not because we're really heavy. But I'll send you some stuff. I will send you prizes. Okay. Who to hoot? All right. All right. Thanks for playing. Keep making shit. Get out there and fuck it up. 